Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be talking about the A-Team TV show from the 80s. Now, this was a show that kind of scared me revisiting. I had this nostalgia for some old shows and going back, Starsky and Hutch, awesome, still holds up. Um, Bionic Man, for the most part, holds up for me. Maybe it's my love for them. Chips. Fucking horrible. Things like that. The A Team, it's just fun. It holds up. I still watch it. I think the movie was pretty good. Liam Neeson and a bunch of other people. It was entertaining. I was wishing they would do more, but it got me on a, another um, rehashing of the old show. And boy, it is a fun ride. Even with. There's some things that are just overdone. But the charm of the show just holds up. I think the show ran from 1983 to 1987. It starred George Papard, Dirk Benedict, Dwight Schultz, and Mr. T. You had a couple of weird things like the pilot, if I'm correct, Dirk Benedict wasn't face man. And it was some reporters um, and people and like sidekicks that kind of changed over the seasons. Villains, obviously. But basically, you got a team, uh, ex-military, special forces, who accept money or bartering in some instances, uh, or just, you know, pulling their heartstrings enough and they'll help you. And everything involves coming up with a new fresh idea to get out of whatever situation or to help and to achieve victory in a certain situation then. The charm of this show is just oozing out of every pore. The chemistry between the characters, the leader, the con man type of personality, the wacky, crazy pilot, and the brooding, driving, you know, just uh, tank of the team. Episode after episode, it's almost the same formula, and every once in a while they change it up and you're like whoa what the fuck you know what they shot somebody in a restaurant and he's bleeding to death like okay some hot felt moments here and there but for the most part you can depend on the formula for the show just to be the same and i thought going back i'm gonna go hey this is a show i loved it as a kid and you know it, it holds no value for me anymore in that sense but no, I've revisited it more than once. Me and my friend have this uh, conversation a lot. He does the podcast with me. And it's always, you know, it's just, it grows on you again. It, it has the right amount of talent, charm, uh, formula, that if it grew on you as a kid, I think you're going to like it. Now, I'm not going to say that you get a person 13 years old, 14 Let's see, what did this come out? 83, so okay, 12, 13. And you introduce them to the show right now. I could see it not catching on. I could see it not growing on somebody. But when you grew up in that time and you look back on it and watch them again, it brings back the good feelings and even bad, you know, it's a tough time in my life growing up uh, in that period, but maybe that's why. Maybe little things like this, these forays into imagination and make-believe, because I was big into that. I was always within my own mind and playing characters and mock fighting and coming up with little scripts in my head. But this was just a fun show. I mean, you got MacGyver, somewhat formula you know, build something, get something, you need certain mundane stuff, and if it's bed springs, or it's uh, chicken wire, or trash bags, gotta have trash bags, that type of thing, I fucking love this show, I can look back on it and critically, you know, say the formula was repetitive, and the themes didn't always come through, 
but just fucking for fun just you just watch it and you get get through it and you're just watching another one the interact like how many times can mr t be tricked i mean i think you give up eventually just so much fun to watch and the play between the characters is one of the most important things i think the way mr t will act with um you know the crazy guy and face man's different um you know love it when a plane comes together that theme it just never fucking worked because it's always them trapped in some warehouse or the back of a barn and they've got to build a potato lettuce shooter and um i thought one thing was really fucking awesome about the show there was an episode where they are okay so supposedly um <laughs> the leader is a actor and they always find him on sets and he's usually in a monster suit right so it's a good way to hide who he is and he can still do acting that he loves or whatever so he's, you know i think the theme it opens up it's him in that fake godzilla type suit and for the most part they have real military weapons but for this episode all they have is movie props <laughs> and they're shooting around at everybody and it's the same fucking episode it's the same thing because that's all it is to show is movie props this isn't a show that you know face man sprays his machine gun and eight fucking people die and he steps over their bodies and wipes blood this is not that this is we're gonna shoot fucking machine guns and guns constantly always miss and then let's talk about the accidents in this movie the car crashes and this is some of the worst things to watch with like a 4k or a high definition you literally see the blow up dummy in the jeep as it flips and it does this weird wobble we make fun of it we laughed i was crying we had tears coming out of my eyes i was laughing so hard i was stoned obviously but and then they you know they do the roll the cut and then the people get i'm okay i'm okay it's just fucking ridiculous you can't kill people you didn't kill people in mass quantities and brutally too by the way because if you had a fucking 18 right now on like hulu hbo they'd be fucking cutting people's necks you know going in quiet and soft t- taking care of jobs this is like you know what let's go to the noodle shop and maybe this guy will help us with the bully in the neighborhood or a gun runner or um so on and so forth and i think they used a like newspaper theme you put an ad in the paper and he'd be in uh the leader would be in um a disguise like a you know cutting your head he's like oh yeah tell me about your problems and and then he go, okay we'll take the job and it's like little things like that it's just um you know something i know is not the best uh example of um high-end tv shows especially nowadays but looking back and you know remembering the time i grew up it's a real fun show and i uh look back on it i watch it again here and there i watch it again and it just it doesn't hit that alarm with me it's like oh i roll my eyes and i gotta you know move on to something else so we got a bunch of um talented people come together it's offbeat comedy trying to put in themes in but they never really stick because of you know there's no real um still no stakes at most times especially when you're in you know second or third season kind of know what's going on and that's when they'll do you know a little theme here and there where um I think one of them gets shot and is bleeding to death and that type of thing. It's still, you know, got to get fucking crazy person out of his fucking jail or his ward, his psych ward. Um, We got a problem because uh, B.A. doesn't want to fucking take a plane. Got to give him some milk that's tainted. Um, You know, face man's got to fucking con airline tickets or a car or a boat or a fucking garbage truck whatever fuck they need but i had so much fun i'm gonna 
I'm gonna give it the thumbs up for something to watch. You want to get a piece of uh, the 80s, uh, the 18 is it? You can, you know, you're not gonna get the wire and all these fucking new type show, uh, that type of, um, you know, those themes, and they're gonna be the tones gonna be so real. But, you know, this special forces has to clear their name because they were, you know, kicked out of the army, so they're kind of like, um, wanted, and that theme's always in it too, uh, if they stay along too long, they stay around too long, some military guy fucking picks up a phone, gets a phone call, oh no, and then by the end of the show, oh shit, they look and military and the police are coming, so they, there is that theme too, that they are, um, you know, they're trying to clear their names in a sense. And more, if you look at my, I did a late one, I don't know if I put it out yet, but there's Burn Notice. And that's a great way of doing a lighthearted show with some tones, but bringing it up, making the stakes more. And it's his thing, like, you gotta clear his name, and they made it a major part of the show. This one, it, it didn't. It, it, you know, it came up every now and then. Uh, you know, here and there with some, you know, you get some actor you know, you know, and all of a sudden he's wearing a general's uniform. And you're like, oh shit, they're coming for him this time. They're gonna get him, and they're gonna have to use fucking, you know, um, crazy glue and fucking nail polish to get out. That type of thing. Fun show. I enjoy watching it again and again for some fucking reason. And I think the reasons are enough that new people would get into it. Be good, everybody. I'll talk to everybody next time.